So how much? I mean, you guys are in a relationship. How much type of variety does he need? You need vegetables. You need salad or what? I don't eat meat, so you serve me steak and eggs. I'm, autom- I'm automatically going to get right, me some chicken. City boy, city boy. Yeah, it is. Oh shit. Okay. I'm sorry, what you said? I mean, you guys are in a relationship. How much of yes. a variety does he have to have to keep you interested? Enough of a variety does he have to have? Yeah, does I he mean, have to supply well, it to you? I mean. <laughs> I know for me, I just, I, I'm not going to just sit there. Like, you need to be able to, I'm a very, like, open person, and I'm going to communicate. I like to do this, this, and this. Like, I like to go out. I don't go to the club, but I like to live. I like to travel. If that's something you don't do, you're not going to be my caliber. If you're not willing to try new things, even if you've never done before, the key is trying new things. And if you're going to constantly say no or not be open, then, therefore, that don't mix because this is what I do. So I know how to love myself, so I'm showing you. What okay. that looks like. So what if he likes to do new things and he travels, he does all that stuff with you, and he likes chicken here and there? You not okay with it? No. <laughs> That's a preference. Okay. Because then we just might as well just be open, right? Are you okay with open? Been there, done that, no. How come it didn't work? That doesn't fit with me anymore. How come, how come it doesn't work for you? It though? doesn't work because I don't think people understand the truth. See, some people just think of the sexual nature and just that, but there's all these factors outside of that that happen. So it's the emotions that get mixed in with it. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't even have to be that. But what if it wasn't, it wasn't like emotionally that. tied? What if it was like every few months it's just like... We can sit there and say that, but we honestly know that that's the problem. Is that You think men get attached like that? I, it's not the man. It's, it's the emotional. woman. Just like I always tell women, sometimes they get their But what if the man regulates his stuff? And if you his... know that you aside, I shouldn't know that. Don't ask me main questions. I should know about you. I should never... I, sh- I shouldn't hear... Mm-hmm. I would, it's like invisible. Yeah, I get you. Okay. So if he kept so it out of sight, out of mind, and he doesn't bring it home, there's no drama. How else would I know? Okay. So if that right? was How happening. Else would I know? Right, but me, that was I'm, I'm very intuitive, so I pick up a lot of things. So, so you go digging, different. you got a shovel. You no, I'm it. not digging anything. <laughs> if I have to go dig, then that already is a sign. Yeah. There's a sign. Mm-hmm. I don't need to because I don't need to go see anything. Just okay. the fact that I have to. So, you, but I mean, what type are you? Like, you see, now you got some trash, and you, he threw it away. You might have seen like a strip club receipt. You the type to go dig in the trash? No. Why you ain't call me crazy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. No, no, no. I'm not doing that. Like, no, I'm good. You know, if you want to play, there's plenty of things to do. That's just me. Like, there's also playing within the rules. No, 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 I'm saying like if you're like going through his trash, oh, yeah. and yeah, that's like, how you know that that's like you feel like he's cheating on you. Yeah, like, okay. like if you want to go play, okay. Well, him there's club. Trash, I don't know. I'm like, from Seattle. We yeah. have groups. If that's what you want to do, yeah. okay. Because then there's groups, there's clubs you can join. Yeah. There's different where it's like, yeah. all right. Well, then let's go. You know. Okay. Oh, hey. mm-hmm. Swinging? <laughs> yeah. It's, it's yeah. more than just swing, but yeah, we sex positive in Seattle. We just. <laughs> I mean, you're right. I mean, it's either you know, just saying. I'm just a big person of communication. Like, yeah. what are we doing? Because either way, I'm gonna find out anyway. Exactly. Because I most likely you know did the basically. same thing you did. Don't women are not innocent. Yeah. Like, we is know it considered so. cheating if you know about it? It's not cheating if you know about it, right? Um, if you know about it, yeah, no, it's not. Exactly. Like, that's not. You can't even get mad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. In that case, has anybody here ever cheated before? <laughs> Yes. Okay. No. She's like, no. no. You think she, she, she going to judge you? Huh? <laughs> you think she's going to judge you because she's family? Can she judge me? Yeah. No, you think she's going to judge you because she's family. Like, you, oh, you hesitated. No. Like, no. Oh, okay. oh, okay. oh, yeah. We, so she don't care. No. <laughs> no. Okay. Not the way our family God. set up. So why haven't you used? Um Even though your ex-boyfriend cheated on you, right? No. No? No. You sure? I'm not. This is sound like yeah, okay. As far as you knew, no, I wouldn't cheat honestly because I just feel like that just like breaks someone. So your past relationships, why, why were you not with that person anymore? I don't know. I was just young. Like I just didn't want to be with them no more. Like I was also still in high school. Like I'm just like his time expired or like what? How old are you again? I'm just like 22. Okay. Not enough life experience. There. Yeah. A lot to learn. Okay. She's still quiet though. Uh-huh. We already listen. What? Uh, what, <laughs> no, it was a was a laugh like that was that was your answer. It wasn't exclusive, so I ain't, if we yeah. gotta get uh, technical, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. If, yeah. Right. if I'm gonna own up, if I'm a, if I'm gonna own up to my stuff, uh, yeah, I have. Okay. But I was mm. provoked. Okay. <laughs> 
But I feel like if you're exclusive, like you both have to say, okay, we're exclusive. Not just you say it and hope it, huh? Like, yeah. Like you can't just say like, oh, if we're talking and I'm only talking to you, but then you're talking to somebody else. Like, no. All right, real quick. So for so for you two, was the cheating just just in retaliation, or is it? A feeling you actually checked in mentally with another man, like you connected with another man. I'm not gonna say it was retaliation. Um, she is. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Hey, it's cool. You want I'm chicken? Like, you want chicken? I mean, you know. Um, she said I was provoked. Yeah, you know, when I was younger, uh, but, but you know, there's certain things you just like, all right, whatever. You went with it. I went with it. I, like just did whatever. Yeah, like that's how I'm like. We're here. That's how we learn. Yeah. Like this is normal. This is normal human behavior. We can sit here and play like people's things. That's stupid. I'm just real. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's what's up. We gotta respect. I mean, yeah. I, I truly respect. Like just like straight up. Like, honest. <laughs> mm-hmm. I was in a situation. The situation. And somebody else caught your eye. Like, Okay. Oh, shit, I was having fun. No, just real quick. I mean, right? I mean, I mean, I mean having fun. But, but I'm just saying, like, like this is our for su- our subscribers and stuff. Like, like for men to understand, like when you just not taking care of home. Like, like was he not taking care of home? Oh mm-hmm. yeah, he like his his community. It's not like I just went. Oh, he pissed me off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheat. Nah, it, like it was built yeah. up. Shit was just like, all right, you know what? Mm-hmm. Like you checked out, expired. So yeah. I'm gonna just Morning. instead Morning. of breaking up, I'm just Morning. gonna go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you do your thing. I do mine. I'm quite sure. You, mm-hmm. I'm I'm actually very sure you doing. What your you thing. lacking now? I'm gonna so go right. get over here. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. He, he tightened up after that, though. <laughs> I, 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 I oh, he found out? I don't know. I, I think he was watching my location. I'm not going to lie. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> he tightened up after that, though. I promise you. Okay. Right, yeah. You throw a hint out there? Hmm? You throw a hint out there? Like, like what made him, like, like get aware? Because, like. You mess with him both on the same day? I don't know. Ooh, absolutely mm-hmm. not. You sure? Mm-hmm. Someone he know? Mm-mm. Oh no! Oh no! No. Nope. <laughs> All right. Hey. Okay. That that goes to our next question. Like, with these coworkers. Oh no! Well, I, I wax. Huh? I'm, a, I'm a certified oh. coochie waxer, so I don't work with no men. Oh okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> All, right. All right. Fair enough. <laughs> um. So say, the person you're interested in, this is somebody that was always. Hitting you up in your DMs, always flirting with you all the time, and you just turned around like, all right, fuck it, I'll give you a chance now. Yeah, was it was a guy in the back pocket, like a friend zone guy that like you weren't interested yet, but he always wanted you. That look means yes. Waiting for his opportunity. I'm beyond. uh, Honestly, I know you want me, so if I get to a point where I'm like, you over here, I already know who to hit up because you already been asking and and waiting. So it's like, oh, so so a dude that's always been hitting on you. Yeah, Yeah, like you know, okay, someone that's always been in the back pocket waiting for his chance because. Sometimes that's not it. It that's could it could have been media. suddenly, but yeah. Suddenly you okay. oh, what's up? Like, do okay. I care? Do you care? Do I care? Instead of actually ending things out the right way, so you know. You just okay. Get, 